Hello, welcome back to another adventure craft tutorial. In today's video, I will be showing you how to build a McDonald's fast food restaurant. So these are all the materials that you will need. I did count them multiple times, but I always could be wrong. So keep that in mind. There is hu human error involved. So if you're playing in survival, be sure to pause and collect. But if you're playing in creative, like I will be doing in this tutorial, just know that these are the building materials that you will need in order to build the McDonald's. Now, before we start on the tutorial, there's a few things I added from the previous episodes of the Chick-fil-A building. So in the parking lot, I did add a dumpster here and on the in and out parking lot as well uh, over there, if you can see it. I did also add a drive through menu for the in and out drive through I completely forgot to do that for some reason. And yeah, I just added the dumpsters and the odd spaces of the parking lot. So, all uh, fast food restaurants have the dumpsters in the parking lots anyway. I also did the same for the McDonald's parking lot as well as the drive through menu. So, let's go over the layout. This is the layout that you should follow. So, uh, the gaps that you should see in the layout, there should be three separate gaps. There should be, the largest one should be six blocks in total for the entire gap. And the smallest one should be two blocks. And then there should be one on the drive through side containing three blocks, which is just a window. So it's not going to be an entrance, it's going to be a window. So keeping that in mind when you build the layout, if you are going based off of my layout, this is all black concrete and it's only one layer, so keep that in mind as well. So first off with this tutorial, we are going to grab the stone bricks. And taking these stone bricks, just kind of follow my lead in this. So I'm going to be starting on this two block black concrete right here, and I'm only going to add one layer of stone bricks. And I'm going to go around and do the same on all the black concrete. And on this section, I'm only going to be adding four more blocks. So one, two, three, four. And on the very end of it, I'm going to add another one. So for right now, you are done with the stone bricks. So I'm going to put them away. And I'm going to get out my red concrete. Using the red concrete on this side, which is the drive through we're going to work on the drive through window. So in this gap right here, we're going to add one layer of red concrete. And on the each end of this red concrete, we're going to raise it up by one, two, three. One, two, three. And on the tops, you're just going to connect them. So it should look something like this. Now we are not done with the red concrete. We're going to go over here, which is the other entrance. And on these three blocks at the very end, we're going to add one, two, three, and taking this up by five, including the blocks that we have already placed. So one, two, three, four, five. So it should look something like this. Now on this front section right here, it should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks. We are going to raise it on top of the stone bricks to be 12 high. So once you are done, it should look something like this. 
Now on the opposite side, this one right here, you are going to do the exact same thing. Raise it up by 12. So now both sides of this red concrete should match. Now that you have done the red concrete, that is all you will need for this tutorial. Now let's take our gray concrete and starting on the drive through side, I'm going to start right here on this corner. We're going to raise it to the same level as this red concrete. So one, two, three, four, five. So it should be two above this block right here for the drive through window. Now I'm going to do the same thing over here. Whoa. Three, four, five. And I am going to leave that for right now because of the window. So going over on this corner right here, I'm only going to take it by three because we will have a different block over here. So taking it five blocks high yet again. So it should look something like this. We're going to leave this top bit uh, open for right now. Now on the right side of this red concrete section, we are going to add one, two, three of the gray concrete and raise it up to be the same level. Okay, so skipping this section for right now, I'm going to go back over here and skipping one, two, three, I'm going to place... Actually, let's go over here instead. So on this block right here, so this one, not this one, I'm going to bring this up by five, so one, two, three, four, five. Doing the same on the corner block and doing one more right there. So it should look like a little L. So on the very top block, we are going to kind of connect it. This will be like a window. So uh, one, two, three. So we need to make sure this is where we stop. Right there. These three blocks right here should have a different block. So this is where we will stop. Now let's go to the other side over here. And I'm going to kind of do the same thing as we did over on the other side. Now there will be a window right here. And it's going to be three high, so we can assume one, two, three, and then you can connect the two top pieces. And I'm just going to go ahead and do the other side as well. One, two, three. So there you have your window. This side will not have a window, so I'm just going to connect it until I reach the corner bit right here. Okay, so this spot will be a window, so on the top, I'm just going to place it until I reach that end spot right here, because it will not have a pillar going down. So going on the other side, I'm going to go on this block right here and raise it 5. So once we have the gray concrete kind of looking like this, looks a little bit like a mess. This is a very abstract looking McDonald's, so it's going to get quite confusing if uh, you don't really know what's happening. So uh, be sure to comment if my tutorial skills are uh, very trash, which I, I will understand why you would say that because it's a it's hard to explain something like this so we're not done with the the gray concrete i'm so sorry the gray concrete we're not done with it just yet but we're done for right now so i'm gonna do some of the windows i'm actually gonna start right here so i'm just going to create the window going from top to bottom in this space It should be, let's see, one, two, three, four. Should be four high. So it should look something like this. Now we did create these window spaces. One, two, three. One, two, 
excuse you, three. And let's do this window space right here as well. It should also be one, two, three, four high. So it should look something like this. Now for the drive through window, I'm going to go one, two, looking like this. And then I'm going to do another two that looks like this. And I'm going to go out by one. So it looks like a window that's open. Now for this window, I'm going to match it to be this high for this drive through window. So it will be right there. So one, two, three, four high of a window. And there you are, the window. Now for this doorway. We are going to raise it to be one, two, three high, and I'm going to take it out by one. So it should look like this, just a simple looking door. So I will have the window kind of replicated over here as well. So one, two, three, I'm just going to place them for right now because why not? One, two, three. And let's go ahead and raise the entrance doors. So not on this block, but the second block in. I'm going to place two glass panes. And I'm going to take it out by one. So when they close, if they did, it would close correctly. And I'm going to take it up three more. So it should be four high. Now on the tops of those, oh, just the top right here, you are going to connect it. So it should like that, look like this. It's funny not seeing anything around it, but we're placing it anyway. Um, so that's the entrance door with the glass panes. And now let's just put these away for right now. Let's get our white concrete. Now going from this section right here, we are going to place our white concrete, just one layer, all the way until we reach this point. So there should be a corner block of three blocks right there. Should be like a little L shape left. So. Now going from this block that we have just done, we're going to take it out by one more and going around making sure it matches. So it should look like this. Now on these two blocks right here, we are going to raise it by three. So one, two, three. And I'm going to kind of make it match up there. I mean, I did too many, but it will it will overhang anyway. But to not confuse you, I'm just going to stop for right there. So it should look like a weird shape. <laughs> so now I'm actually going to finish this shape. So I want to make sure it matches up to this red concrete section on the same level because we are going to match this up like so. So on the top, what I'm going to do is make sure it matches up to this point right here. And I will just do that. Yeah, no, I'll leave it like that. So it should look like this. And there should be that one block gap right there. Now, on this front piece right here, the red concrete, I'm going to take it until that point right there. So it should look like this. 
Now I want to repeat this same design like on this side to this side as well. So I'm just going to add the two block so that way it looks the same on both sides. And I will stop until I reach the gray concrete right there. Now taking this block so that way I know where to put this. Actually gonna go back over here and raise this to be the three block high and we're just going to connect the white concrete with this concrete right here. So that way it matches up. Now I'm going to make sure it matches up to right here as well. So it should look like this. And the front should look like this. Well, not the front, but this section right here should look like that. Okay, putting away the white concrete for right now, I'm going to get back our black concrete. And remember this little corner right here that we left empty? Well, the black concrete will go there. And I'm going to go on the inside to make this easier. And I'm going to match it up to the white concrete. I'm actually going to take away that one so that way it doesn't look so odd. <laughs> and I'm going to do the same on this side. So it should look like this. And taking the white concrete, I'm just going to place it above the window. So the inside should look like this. And like this. Let's get back our glass pane. And on the second one on the inside, not the overhanging one, we're going to place some glass panes, making sure it does that corner effect. And on the top, we're going to just do another layer of glass panes. So it should look like this. I'm going to do the same on the other side. So now these white concrete pieces should be done. So now I'm going to put away the glass panes and I'm going to get out the spruce planks. Now I'm going to do this entrance side right here. And on the blocks that we didn't like have anything there, so they're just empty blocks right here, I'm going to raise it to be the same height as this. I, I'm going to raise it to be the same height as the fifth block up on the gray concrete. And on the top, I'm just going to match it like connected. <laughs> and I'm going to actually raise it one block higher. So it should look like this. Now, taking the same spruce planks, I'm going to go above this entrance right here and I am going to basically do the same. So line it up there and then do two more on the top. So it should look like that. Now on this corner right here that we left empty, we are going to basically do the same exact thing that we have been doing with the spruce planks. Make sure it lines up with the top and then just add one more layer on the top of that. Now, before I continue with the spruce planks, I'm going to get back our gray concrete. Now, on the tops of these white concrete sections, I'm going to add the gray concrete, just one layer of the one block. And I will stop when I reach the end point right here. So I want to make sure it lines up right there. 
Now I'm going to do the same on the other side right here. Make sure it lines up right there. Yep. So it should look like this. So now that you have completed thus far, we are actually going to take all the gray concrete that we have already placed and raise it up by one. So once you have done that, get back your spruce planks and add another layer on top. And then I'm going to do the same with this red concrete that I have over here. And not over here, because that's the, the correct height. Now putting away the red concrete. I'm going to take the gray concrete. And on this section right here, where this window is, to the right of the entrance point, I'm going to take it out by two. And I'm going to make sure to do it on this side as well. So it should look like this. And I'm going to do the same on this section right here. So this back piece should look like this. So since we are over here, let's get our yellow concrete. So I'm going to start from the top because it will be too confusing if I start from the bottom. So on the top, you're going to go one, two, three, and you're going to go one, two, three down. And you're going to place it right here. So it should be one, two on the third block down. And to the right, one, two, three. So it should be even. And you're going to do the same right there. So it should look like this should be even on both sides. Now in the middle I'm going to take it down by two and on this side I'm going to take it down by three and you're going to do the same on the other side. So it should be a big M for McDonald's. <laughs> um, Alright so we're going to do the same exact thing on the other red concrete section right here. So it should look like this the big M for McDonald's. So now you're done with the yellow and red concrete. Using our gray concrete on the top of this uh, window right here, I'm actually just going to connect and fill to the top block. Let's use our gray concrete to go one more block forward on both of these sides and then putting them and then putting them away and grabbing our spruce planks and on this block right here, you are going to raise it to be three high. And you are just going to raise it right here until you reach this spot right here. And just do the same on the other side. So it should look like this. Now, going on this inside right here. I'm going to do the spruce planks and then I'm going to raise it up one more above this spruce plank section and I'm going to do the same on the other side. So it looks like this. Now I'm just going to fill in this top section right here and just going one block like so. So that way when I fill in the roof, it will be filled in. Okay, so you are done with the spruce planks for this tutorial. Now let's go and focus on the drive through section. So on either side, like so, you're going to have stone blocks. On these stone blocks, I'm just going to raise them like so. And for right now, I'm just going to fill it in. And on this pillar right here, I'm going to add the stone blocks as an overhang 
above the drive through window. I'm going to do the same on the other side. So it should look like this. Now taking your stone slab, you're going to go one underneath what we just placed and connecting them like so and do another overhang like so. Now taking your white concrete, you're going to fill in the middle. So it should look like this. Now what I'm going to do is take the gray concrete and fill in the entire roof area. Okay, so this actually should be the end of the tutorial. I'm so sorry if my tutorial skills are just so trash. Um, I'm trying my best to get better at telling these tutorials on how to do them and everything. So just bear with me while I uh, have that experience for myself. I'm just now starting with this tutorial stuff, so it's... It's a work in progress, I know that much, but I still hope you enjoyed. Um, there is a creator out there for Minecraft that did actually do a very similar tutorial, and I'm going to put his name on screen and his YouTube channel in the description, so that way it doesn't seem like I'm stealing his ideas. Um, I based this uh, building, as well as all of these other buildings, on actual buildings. Uh, that do exist in the real world. So um, I do take more inspiration from actual buildings rather than Minecraft tutorials. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, share the video if you liked it, like the video, and turn on your post notifications so that way you know when we post, which should be every Friday. So thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.